win for us. I really appreciate the fans that traveled to Lexington to come support us. Um, it was a crazy day in terms of weather. It was sunny one minute, raining the next minute, cold the next minute. Um, you know, from what I understand, got some you know pretty good information here. Uh, first time at Vanderbilt to won two road wins since 1951. Um, we're three and zero right now. We've won four out of the last five, so a lot of positives there. Uh, first shutout against an SEC opponent since 1968. Um, two shutouts in the same year since 1964. So uh, some really positive things to build on. I thought we played uh, in the first half really well. I thought we played clean. Um, I thought I thought the, co the the kids executed extremely well. I thought we had really good plans. Um, didn't feel like we played as well as we could have played in the second half. We're a little sloppy. Didn't protect the football. Um, still have to get get off the field on defense with three and outs um, and turnovers. We can continue to improve there. But overall, uh, we played well. We're one and zero this week, and uh, we want to continue to build on this next week. So we'll enjoy it tonight. So we got basically till twelve oh one. Uh, to enjoy this win, and then we'll move on to the next one. Try to try to do whatever we got to do to get a win next week. Coach, you talk about enjoying this one. Considering how your season has started, how much will you enjoy this one? We'll enjoy it as much as any other win, as much as any other win. Um, you know, the season's gone exactly the way we thought it would. We're playing well, and we're peaking at the right time. Yeah, I don't know. I went, I don't have the statistics, so it's hard for me to tell you. But I think we were. On, oh, you got one. Yeah. Oh, thank you. I appreciate that. For sure. Um, we were good on third down, uh, eleven out of seventeen, and I still think we could have been even better. Um, I still think we could have been even better. Um, and and defensively, we were good. We, were, we held them to five out of seventeen. We we're also one out of one on fourth down. So this would be one of those examples where we went for it on, on fourth down, where everybody thought it was a good idea because it worked. Um, but yeah, we were definitely better and more efficient on third down. We're going to have to continue to do that all year long because, like you mentioned, it hasn't been a strength of ours this year. What I think we did early on is we were better on first and second down. I think if you go back and look at our third downs, we had much more manageable third down situations. Let's talk about your passing game. I'm thinking about the first quarter in particular when I actually looked at the stats and studied them. Great effort in throwing the ball around, getting it to where you need it. It's common on the passing game. Yeah, um, I, I thought Jordan was really sharp in the first half. Um, you know, the fact that we got two wide outs right now, I don't know what their stats were looking down here. I guess Boyd had six catches for 81 yards and a touchdown. Jordan Matthews had five catches uh, for 75 yards and a touchdown. So when you have two guys on both sides um, to keep the defense honest, um, I, I think that really helps you. And, you know, both of them are big physical wide outs, 163, 164. Um, we're getting some more work out of our tight ends as well. So all those things, I think, has helped the quarterback as well as being able to run the ball more consistently. So, um, you know, I thought we were as balanced and as efficient as we had been all year long on the offensive side of the ball, especially in the first half. Did you see any quit out of Kentucky today? No, I, I, I've been impressed with them watching them on tape um, all year long. They got some good players. They're playing a bunch of young guys. They've got 14 freshmen playing. I thought the Tolls kid, I looked for him at the end of the game. I thought he played really well. Um, you can see why he was the player of the year in the state. You can see why they recruited him so heavily because um, they protected him well tonight. And I thought, you know, he threw the ball well. They had some drops. I think his stats would have been even better. But I think, I think, I think Joker's doing a good job. They're playing hard. Um, they just, they got a lot of youth. Coach, the score would indicate that this was an easy game for you guys to win. Obviously, it wasn't. If you're a football player, you would know better comment on that, why this was not as easy a game as this one indicated. Yeah, there, there's, there's, no easy, there's no easy wins in the SEC. Um, everybody's coached so well. Everybody has talent. I think we were able to do some things tonight um, you know, against a good team and, and found, a way, found a way to get a win. But, but there is no easy wins. Um, you know, this, this team, they get a few breaks for them, and, and it could be completely different. And that's what we're trying to do. We work hard and try to create our own breaks. Um, but, you know, I think the score can be deceiving a lot of times. A lot of times um, you play a game and the score looks like it was a close game, and a lot of times it really wasn't. Or, or the score can be like it was today, and, and you fought for every inch you got. You know? So uh, we're just going to keep trying to get better. And, um, you know, I tell you what, everybody's been unbelievably welcoming here in, in Kentucky. Uh, the staff's been unbelievable, and, and, and we appreciate the time we had here. Do you, feel like, do you feel like this was a statement game to the rest of the SEC that Vandy is for real? 
No, we, we still got a long ways to go. Uh, we played well tonight. We, we, we got to win. We got to win today. And um, besides that, you know, I don't know, I don't know anything about making statements. We just were one and zero this week, and it's an opportunity for us to get better. Uh, we're gonna watch the film. There's a lot of things I bet watching this tape that we can correct and get better at. But um, but you know, all those things, I, I don't really focus or worry about those things. Just worry about being one and zero. But you guys have gotten better since the season started. Talk about the things that had to happen for you guys to get to where you are now. Because right now you're, you're very much in bowl contention. Um, to be honest with you, um, I, I do think we are getting better. I don't think it's it's um, as significant as people would like to think. I mean, we, we opened the season with some really good teams in the SEC um, and played them tough. Um, so you know, we are getting better each week. I don't know if it's as dramatic as people would think. Um, you know, we do we, we handle we, we we approach the game the same process every single week. We come in on Sunday, work real hard on cleaning up our issues from the week before, and start playing it out the next week. So, you know, we're one and zero this week. Anything else besides that, I really have no uh, have no opinion on or, or concern. Speaking of cleaning up the issues, you guys cut down on penalties today, at least during those first half drives. Yeah, especially in the first half. I thought we had some penalties there at the end. Um, and we came out from the half uh, and on third down and things like that. I don't know. I guess we had five penalties in the game, which is about where we've been all year long. Four or five penalties. We had a couple games where it was a little higher, but um, you know, still, I bet you if you go back and look at those penalties, a couple of them created some long third down situations that we didn't convert. I think we had third and one in the one situation, jumped off sides, which knocked us back. So. Um, you know, we, we just got to make sure that we're playing smart, sound, physical Vanderbilt football. And Vanderbilt football is is disciplined. Uh, we're a blue collar, hard nosed team, and, and, and we got to play smart because that's a part of our identity. Uh, you guys have made a, a habit in your two years of winning in blowout fashion in these mismatch sort of games. What does that say about your team's killer instinct in these type of games? Uh, I thought we played well today. Um, that's really my focus. Um, I think recruiting counts. Um, and that's why I'm excited about when we can put back to back to back to back to back recruiting classes together and have tremendous depth for five years throughout your program. I think that's that's really going to help you. Um, and I think there was some examples of that today, guys that were recruiting. I think Kimbrough, you know, has shown um, if you get a chance to get him with a hat on a hat space, he can make plays for you. Uh, we're starting to create some really good depth right now. So, you know, I'm pleased with all those things. He led us in rushing, Brian, for, you know, led 13 rushes for 73 yards. And there's a bunch, you look at the defense, we're playing a bunch of young guys on defense in a two deep, which I think has really helped. It's really helped, especially the linebacker position. How important was getting the shutout, especially the stop after Jordan's interception, as opposed to 40 to 3 or 40 to 7? Is that significant that it was zero? I, I think it's significant from a confidence standpoint. I know our defensive coaches really like it. Uh, the, the fans like it. The SID likes it. All those you know, people get excited about those things. But the most important thing is we got to win. Um, um, but you know those statistics and things like that, they're fun for people to talk about. I came in and threw them around because I, I told them to the team because Larry told me it was really good information. But besides that, you know, at the end of the year, people aren't going to say this was a good win or this was a bad win. All they do is count all the wins up. We want to get as many as we possibly can. UK's Avery Williamson leads the SEC in tackles, had 20 today. Was there any game plan to try to go away from him or no? No, no. I, I, I think he's a good player. But um, again, I think stats can be deceiving at times, you know, um, a lot for a lot of different reasons. But he's a good player. Um, he had a lot of production again today. Um, but no, we, we didn't really kind of have any schemes like that. 96, um, I don't want to mispronounce his name. Buku. Buku. Um, I, I think was a really good player. We saw it on film and he showed up again on the field as well. Um, you know, he's a kid I wish we would have kept home at some point before we got here. Looking ahead to next week. Tell us what type of opponent you have coming up and, and the game and what you might expect. Yeah, uh, Larry, who do we play next week? Uh, we're playing Ole Miss now. Coach. Ole Miss. Yeah, I have no idea. Got to watch them on tape and check them out. All my focus <coughs> and all my attention is on this opponent. Ole Miss, you say? Ole Miss. Ole Miss. We'll start working on Ole Miss tomorrow morning and get excited for those guys. So, again, just enjoy this one, 12.01. Then enjoy you're 12.01. Now I won't talk again about Kentucky. Maybe at the Monday press conference if I have to, right? But besides that, uh, we just focus on these guys. And you guys still putting in a few new wrinkles to the offense, maybe. But it looked like the first couple of series, Jordan runs an option read and then throws it after he rolls right. How much are you still adding to the offense at this point in the season, if at all? We really haven't added anything. That, that's that's 
Um, we're running zone read, which we, we run a little bit every single week. And if they collapse, after it pulls the ball based on the defensive end, if now the DB collapses on him, he has an option to throw it out there. So we've done that earlier in this year. We've done it last year. It just showed up. Um, it just showed up. Um, I think that's like a lot of times you guys asked early on in the season about that we didn't run enough trick plays. Well, a lot of them, it's got to be the right look to run them. Um, and it's the same thing. There's, there's certain aspects of the offense and the defense that you might not see unless they give us a specific look. But that's that's nothing new. Yeah, they have a seven-minute first drive of the game, and that ends in a missed <coughs> How big a lift was that for your defense? Yeah, I think I think it was important. Um, I think our defense did a good job of, of having Jordan's back as well. Um, we had a couple turnovers there, um, an interception and a fumble, and our defense held them and held them a couple times on fourth down, which was important. So um, I, th I think all those things are really positives for us. Um, we, we, we have got to get off the field more in three and outs, and we have got to get off the field with turnovers. I think that would, that would have a dramatic impact on our defensive statistics that people spend a lot of time focused on. And it will also help our offense with giving them more touches. So we got to get off the field more effectively, and we got to be able to get a consistent pass rush on the quarterback. Whether we're bringing three, four, five, six, whatever it is, we got to have a more consistent pass rush. I thought they protected pretty well today. Okay, to give you a endorsement about Joe Pacheco, head question. coach here. Uh, a lot of talk around here about him possibly not coming back. Personally, I think he should come back. Your thoughts? Yeah, uh, my focus is on Vanderbilt. I have tremendous respect for Joker. I have tremendous respect uh, for the athletic director here in Kentucky, but um, I have opinions and focus on Vanderbilt, the black and gold, and, and we, what we represent, and, and uh, our university and our great city of Nashville. Thank you very much. Thank guys. you.